Hello, and welcome to NHL 20. Today we're discussing tips on how to protect the puck. Now before we dive into any tips, one thing I must point out, and that is timing is key. If you do not have timing down, none of these tips will work. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things that you can do to try to get better at puck control is go into practice mode and select the five on five, but do it in the offensive zone. The idea is to try to cycle the puck. Practice cycling the puck, practice your timing, practice your rhythm, mix in a few deeks, uh, work on passing, you know, all that stuff. You want to try to combine it. You want to get good at cycling the puck. Because, uh, you know, cycling the puck is important if you're on the power play, but if, if you can do it when you're not in the power play, that's even better. Like here, we're just five on five. We're not even on the power play. And, you know, the other thing is, if you're not very good at cycling the puck initially, you may want to consider jumping down from, like, five on five to maybe set it to five on four, set it to five on three, five on two, wh whatever you need to do. But what you need to do is practice cycling the puck practice passing try to get a feel for what the defense is doing get a feel for how your players skate and so forth and also try to get a feel for you know where you can get certain shots in and where you can't obviously in this spot right here the slap shot is a very very strong move now unfortunately no defense especially when it's on like super hard, he's going to let you get an open slap shot at the net. That's just not going to happen. You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to look for, you know, little things that the defenders are doing and try to take advantage of them. Are they skating one way? Can we skate a different way? What are their tendencies and stuff like that? And just get good at passing in general. So that's that's the basics of it. And, and the thing is, you got if you cannot cycle the puck, and you get in a game situation like this, you may want to consider not cycling the puck because if you turn it over, this can lead to, you know, odd man rushes, uh, shorthanded goals. You know, it not a lot of good things can happen. So you want to be very good at controlling the puck. So you, you want to practice as much as you can. Or if you can't practice and get good at this, you might as well not even try this. Cycling the puck in a game situation because odds are against a skilled opponent, you're going to turn it over and you know they're going to stick lift, they're going to poke check, what have you, and they're going to score on you. So, something else to keep in mind there, but it's usually best to go in practice mode and try to get a feel for you know, you don't even don't even try to score, just try to get as much time in cycling the puck as you possibly can, and then you work on uh, some other moves like deeks and uh, so forth. Maybe you've seen a move in that last example or two that you don't know how to make. Don't worry. What we're going to do is we're going to look at several different moves you can make to help control the puck. The first move that we're going to discuss is this little speed boost right here. And we're also going to discuss how to finish on the breakaway. Now the speed boost or hustle is a pretty simple maneuver. If you're not familiar with it, all you do is you push in L3. That's this button right here push it in like a button, and then push the left control stick in the direction you want to skate. All right, now that we're getting close up to the net, we're going to try a one-handed tuck. So this is a little complicated. We want to shoot to the left, so we are going to deke to the right. We're going to deke to the right by taking the right analog stick and pushing it to the right so we can shoot to the left. We're going to hold this down. As we're holding it down, we're going to push both L1 and R1 at the same time time. You got to push these two buttons at the same time. Timing and spacing are very critical here. And of course, if you were to do it uh, from the opposite side with an opposite shooter, you would simply deke to the left and then of course push L1 and R1 at the same time again. One thing you may not have noticed in the replay of us accelerating right here is that this guy does not have control of the puck in any of those strides. He's close to it, but he doesn't have control of the puck. And what that means is this. 
if you try the speed boost move near a defender, all they have to do is touch you and you're going to turn it over. That's right. You're going to become a turnover machine. So don't try this near a defender. So what I would prefer to do in this situation instead of that is simply deking. In this situation right here, we're going to deke to the left by just taking the right analog stick and moving it to the left. And then later on, we're going to do another deke as well. Now we have the defender froze up a little bit, and that's when we use our speed boost. Just a little speed boost right there, and then we change direction, and uh, we get a nice goal right there. Okay, we got the deke to the left done now. Let's try deking to the right. Defender's coming at us. We're going to deke a little bit to the right. We're going to wait till we get past him which we just do right there. Okay. Here is a good spot right here to use the speed boost as we're going in slow motion. As you can see, there's nobody that can touch us right there. And we're getting skating right through there. We're going to cross the blue line. And yeah, that, that's the spot. If you're going to use a speed boost, that is the spot to do it right there. There's nobody near you. Nobody can touch you. Because remember, you don't have control of the puck when you're using the speed boost, at least for the first few moves. So that's where you want to do it. And, of course, here we finish with some nice stick work to just get by the goalie and uh, put one in the net. Another way that you can protect the puck is by holding down that X button and your player will go into puck protect mode. And, again, now that we're buying, we can use the speed boost by pushing in the left analog stick and pushing it up. Now, as we skate down low, our best option is going to be to pass and we're going to do that by holding down this R2 button and then flicking the pass in the direction we want. Now the tricky part is getting the one timer. you got to flick this left analog stick right as the puck comes to you. you got to get the timing down. If you can get the timing down, you're going to be successful. It is not as easy as it looks, but once you get the timing down and rhythm, uh, it can be pretty cool. So, yeah, holding down X can be a good way to protect the puck. I think it's also good to use it in traffic. And of course, like anything, it's all about getting the timing down. Here is a drill you can use to improve your skating. And what you're trying to do is just trying to figure out how long you can skate for before turning it over. What you want to do is you want to see which shoulder they're on and then turn the opposite way, like spin the opposite way, you know, work on protecting the puck, stuff like that. So there we have the puck. Okay, we're gonna go back again and all right is on our left shoulder so we're going right and anyway you keep doing that drill and you get better at uh, possessing the puck this is good practice you want to see which side they're on and then you want to practice turning so he's coming in this way where you turn the opposite way okay he's on the right side we turn to the left and you just want to try to you know practice turning to the opposite side getting a feel for which angle they're attacking they're attacking again so we're gonna go this way let's see how this guy plays us we go to the opposite way and then, of course, if you master that skill, you can go back to where we were talking about earlier, cycling the puck through the offensive zone, you know, against tough competition, being smart with how we handle the puck, trying to pick, uh, you know, when to deke, when not to deke, protecting the puck, and so forth. And, you know, all working to set up that one good shot for the slap shot goal. And, of course, that's going to ramp this up. If you're looking for more tips on this game, be sure to check out the playlist on this channel titled NHL 20 Tips. I'll put a link in the description as well. Thanks for watching and good luck.